This video contains IKSC International Kangaroo Science Contest paper of year 2022 for carry level class 7 and 8th and it has solutions from question number 6 to 10. Well, all questions consist of equal points that is 4. Question number 6 is which of the following statements is true about the weight of bodies? Option A. It is larger at the poles than at the equator. B. It is the same at any point on the earth's surface. C. It is higher on the top of a mountain than at the sea level. D. It always has the direction parallel to the axis of the geographical poles. E. Its direction is always contained in the equatorial plane. Well, for this question, we have some explanations in the next slide. Weight varies on the surface of the earth due to a gravity in the equation of weight. Weight formula is weight equals to mass into gravity. We can also write that formula with their initials W equals to mg. Weight of a body changes everywhere on the earth's surface because of the earth's shape, which is an oblate spheroid whose radius is not constant all throughout. So some places on the earth are closer to the core and some are far away. At poles, the gravity is high so places near to the poles has a greater weight than the place at the equator. Because of this explanation, the correct answer for this question is option number A. It is larger at the poles than at the equator. Question number 7. The stoichiometric coefficients taken in order needed to equalize the chemical equation. Mercury plus hydrogen nitrate will give you hydro mercury nitrate plus nitro oxide and water. The option A, B, C, D, E are actually the coefficients which are in order and we need to find the correct option which will equalize the reaction well for this question there are two methods the number one method is that if you are efficient in balancing the equation then it is very good for you because you don't need to use the options you are just writing the equation and balancing on your own by writing the coefficients and calculating the number of atoms on the both sides however if you are not efficient you have to use method number two and that is use option number a by putting all the coefficients in the equation then calculate all the atoms of one element on the right side as well as the left side if both sides are equal the atoms on the both sides are equal for every element then the answer is that option however if that option is not the correct answer then move to the next option i know method one and two both are consuming the time what you are going to do is you have to solve the other questions then when you are done with the other questions then come back to this one so you don't have to waste the time for this question now we are using method number two by using option number a this is the equation i have put all the coefficients in the equation here what i have done is i have taken the mercury element first and on the left side it is it is having three atoms and on the right side it is having three atoms which is equal hydrogen eight elements on the left side eight atoms on the left side and on the right side it is with the like it forms the water with oxygen so four times two is what eight which is equal on the both side for nitrogen nitrogen there are eight atoms on the left side but in the on the right side it is present on two places with the mercury it is having two times three is six atoms and uh, with oxygen it is having two so six plus two is what eight for oxygen three times eight is what 24 on the left side and on the right side it is present everywhere 
on the three sides so 2 times 3 times 3 is what 18 2 atoms with nitrogen and 4 atoms with hydrogen after addition we get 24 now we are lucky that all the elements on both the sides are equal so option number a is correct we are not going through any other option to verify our question just leave it and we are done with that next to question number seven is eight the following process takes place during inspiration option number a is contraction of the diaphragm muscle b relaxation of the intercostal muscle c decrease of the chest volume d leakage of the air from the lungs e decrease of the lungs volume first we know what is first we have to know that what is inspiration the definition is the first fish the first phase is called inspiration or inhaling when the lungs inhale the diaphragm contracts and pulls downward and we get our answer that option number a contraction of the diaphragm muscle it's the correct answer next question number nine the virtual image of an object option a is formed at the intersection of light rays and can be caught on a screen b is never equal to the object c is formed at the intersection of extension of light rays and cannot be caught on a screen d is always upright e is always larger than the object so for this question we are going to sum pictures and we can easily interpret the answer from these pictures with a plane mirror the virtual image is actually equal to the object with the convex mirror it is smaller and upright than the real object with the convex it is actually the larger the virtual image is larger and it is upright so what we conclude from these equations are that the virtual image can be upright or inverted it can also be smaller bigger or equal to the real object and it cannot be caught on the screen not a single time we can actually see the virtual image is on the above the at the front side or at the back side of the mirrors so what we conclude from the explanations is option number c is correct it is formed at the intersection of the extension of light rays and cannot be caught on a screen the last question number 10 is uh, 2.8 grams iron sample is introduced in a container that has chlorine in a gaseous state measured in normal conditions for the reaction to be complete the volume of the container must be at least option a 1.68 centimeter cube b 1.12 liter c 2.24 liter d 1.12 centimeter cube and e 1.68 liter for this question we have to solve we have to first write the equation balance the equation then solve the equation using certain formulas first of all iron is reacting with chlorine gas and what we got is ferrous chloride ferrous or iron trichloride and two moles of iron with three moles of chlorine gas but we got two moles of iron trichloride first of all we are going to find the moles of iron and for this the formula is mass of iron divided by atomic mass of iron moles of iron 2.8 mass of iron that is given in the question and here did you ever stop and notice that 56 is actually the atomic mass of iron and we have to learn the atomic masses of few of the elements from the periodic table the answer we get is 0.05 mole of iron in the next slide 
two moles of iron requires three moles of chlorine and that is from the equation you can actually two moles of iron and three moles of chlorine for one mole of iron required three by two moles of chlorine two was multiplying on the left side but when it goes to the other side of equality it is dividing and then 0 0.05 and the, that 0 0.05 we got it from the previous slide moles of iron requires 3 by 2 multiplied by 0 0.05 moles of chlorine the answer we got is 0 0.075 moles of chlorine after we got the moles of chlorine we have to find the mass of chlorine gas and same with the previous formula by rearranging the moles formula mass of chlorine equals to moles multiplied by atomic mass of chlorine 0 0.05 the answer we get from the last slide multiply by 35 35 is what the atomic mass of chlorine multiply by 2 because here chlorine is not present as an atom it is in the gaseous form and that is a molecule two atoms form a single chlorine gas molecule so the answer is what 5.25 grams for finding at the end for finding the volume of chlorine the formula we use is the density of chlorine gas equals to mass of chlorine divided by volume of chlorine by interchanging the density and volume here the formula will be like this after putting the values 5.25 divided by 3.214 well the density of chlorine it will be given or if not then you have to actually remember it 3.214 grams per liter so the volume of chlorine we got is 1.63 liters and this answer is close to uh, option number e 1.68 liters so the correct answer is what option number e that's all from my side and if you find any ambiguity in the video then kindly do comments thanks bye bye